Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Jonas Geda. I'm a medical doctor uh, here at Mayo Clinic. I am uh, associate professor of uh, neurology and psychiatry at the College of Medicine at Mayo Clinic. This morning, I would like to tell you about a study we conducted at, uh, in Rochester, Minnesota. It is called uh, uh, Daily Caloric Intake aging and mild cognitive impairment. It is conducted at Mayo Clinic Study of Aging, which is a population-based study. We took about 1,200 study participants, age 70 and older, who reside in Olmsted County, Minnesota. We asked them to complete a food frequency questionnaire, and then, Based on that questionnaire, we calculated their daily caloric intake. And we wanted to know if there is any association between increased caloric intake and the risk of developing what we call mild cognitive impairment, MCI, which is the border zone, gray zone, between normal aging and Alzheimer's disease. And Indeed, we found out that the higher the daily caloric intake, the higher the risk of MCI. MCI means the person is functioning. A person is functioning, the person is not demented. MCI means the person has forgetfulness, significant forgetfulness for recent events and future engagements. Misplacing key, uh, things like that, does not count. But for example, if a person forgets that he or she has flight to New York this afternoon, that will be a concern. A person completely forgets what he or she had for dinner last night with no recollection at all, that could be a concern. So this is forgetfulness as reported by the patient or family member. Additionally, we ask neuropsychologists to test the person's memory function. And if the person's memory function is less than his or her own peers, they compare them. The neuropsychologists compare, they have what they call normative group. They compare apples with apples. And if the person scores less than expected for her age, for his age or her age, that becomes part of the MCI criteria. So, so no loss of day-to-day -day function, no dementia, uh, abnormal findings on neuropsychological testing, and forgetfulness over and above expected in day-to-day -day life hazard. So that makes MCI. Watching one's diet has benefit for many things. Uh, in fact, one thing uh, at one time I heard is that what is good for your heart is good for your brain. So watching what we eat is very important and our finding further reinforces that.